Mills River is a semi-rural agriculture community and being in agriculture, our seasons come and go. You have a lot of people that's out of work that have a lot of skills. So I see this as an opportunity for not only Mills River, Henderson or Buncombe County, but Western North Carolina to benefit from, from these jobs. Well, my father started this company back uh, November 15th, 1980, and we started in a small town in Northern California called Chico. When we moved to North Carolina, we got the ability to start with a clean slate, and working with the, the Department of Transportation was a really great beneficial aspect for us. DOT was brought into this project to tailor the infrastructure needs to the needs of this uh, community and the needs of this development for Sierra Nevada. Uh, we got to do things that we, we never had the ability to do first in Chico. Uh, we found that separating 53 foot long tractor trailers from people that just want to come to your restaurant and have a, have a beer, have a meal is, is a pretty important thing to do. So DOT was a, a great partner and actually let us put a roundabout right in the first part of our property to separate uh, 53 foot long commercial traffic from just residential and, and consumer traffic which is really great. This kind of project showcases the broad capability of the North Carolina port system. Our ability to handle specialized items through the Port of Wilmington allows us to provide unique services uh, that help expand business. On this project, we received multiple shipments of Sierra Nevada equipment, uh, both large and small, uh, that were then transported to the site in Henderson County. There were a lot of uh, DOT uh, divisions that had to work this project, and it really showcased how the uh, divisions worked together, how they collaborated and how they were able to provide better customer service. And it didn't end just with our ports. I know that DOT took the lead in a complex operation to get shipments from South Carolina to the Mills River site. With our large fermentation vessels, they're actually made in Germany, and these things are quite long. I think the total length of the vessels with the tractor trailer was about 80 feet, and they're over 14 feet wide. So we had a great relationship with DOT as well as the local law enforcement agencies and state law enforcement agencies to actually truck these large fermenters and, and bright beard tanks from South Carolina all the way up to North Carolina, um, shutting the roads down and actually lifting light and power poles out of the way as they go in a long convoy. And we actually have 28 of the 44 uh, tanks or fermenters here in place. So we have more to go in the future. And uh, that process was seamless because of the great support of, of the Department of Transportation as well as their supporting agencies. I've never been involved in a project quite this scope in, in this time frame. That was one of the key challenges, was trying to produce a project and, and get it on the ground this quickly. It's nice to see a project go together that will have some impacts on the community, uh, both now uh, with Sierra Nevada coming in and again with future development that can potentially come to the site. It provides opportunity for, for even more growth. You couldn't ask for anything to go smoother with that many people involved. 